All right, so here we are at CTIA 2011. We have the privilege of sitting with Mr. Glenn Lurie, who is president of Emerging Devices, a very long title, Resale Partnerships for AT&T Mobility yeah. and Consumer Markets. It's pretty good. It's good. That's a long business card. It is a long business card. take two lines, yeah, yeah, yeah. actually, on the card? No, I'm going to look. I think I actually got it on one, but it's pretty long. So they sent us your bio beforehand. We have a lot of questions lined up that we want to ask you, but the first question I want to ask you is of your professional soccer days. Oh, great. Okay. So MLS? Uh, no, actually, I'm older than that. So when I when I graduated from college, there was no MLS. It was the MISO, the okay, Indoor yeah. Soccer League. And if you were an American back in those days, your only chance of getting paid. I used was to go to Anaheim the, Splash games. Okay, Anaheim Splash. Well, actually, you see, you're young. So I, I actually played. <laughs> so you saw him play against the Portland Pride. Yeah, I yeah. actually played a year for the Portland Pride. That was my last year playing. <laughs> we can ask the story. How'd you get from from soccer to being president yeah. of Emerging Devices at wow, AT&T? It's a long story. So I've been in the wireless business. So it'll be uh, 22 years coming up, and. Uh, I was playing ball, and in the off season, I thought the I actually uh, had a company that did some work for that had a wireless phone. And this is back in the days of the old Motorola eight thousands, yeah. which were two thousand bucks. You know, the big brick phone. The Zach Morris and, phone. Yeah, and I got to tell you, um, I just thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. I felt that same passion when I got my first cell phone. I remember yeah. when I had to tell my wife I was leaving a job in a downturn economy yeah. to make videos for a living. Yeah. I mean, that was... That was probably a good tweet for you. Well, in, in, in hindsight, uh, <laughs> it ended up working out well, but having to tell my mother-in-law that I was yeah. leaving my job in a down economy videos for a little yeah. bit was tough. So I, I can relate to that. Can you share from behind the scenes, what was at and thinking in bringing the iPhone sure. uh, initially? Well, look, there's there's things we said publicly. So, you know, we had done a couple of things with Apple, right? We launched the Rocker. I remember the Rocker. The Rocker right, with Motorola. With and the us. iTunes built in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. First time that the iTunes client was ever allowed outside of an Apple device. And in that process, Ralph and Steve developed a relationship. And when Apple decided that, that the Rocker was a, a failure. This is it, about 2005, if I remember correctly. This is this right? actually, the Rocker launched, I want to say, in the end of 04. Okay. Uh, the first call where Steve wanted to sit down and really have a conversation about what are we going to do in the future was actually in the first quarter of 05. Mm -hmm. And so Stan, Ralph, and I went and met with uh, Mr. Jobs and a gentleman named Eddie Q. Eddie okay. Q runs iTunes. He's, he obviously sure. you know, works for Tim Cook today. And that was the first meeting of us talking about what do we want to do together. They learned from us, and we learned a lot from them. I mean, they, they weren't in the wireless space. This was their first jump into the wireless business. And their success isn't a surprise. And, and I'm just glad that we as partners have had the kind of success that we've had. And can we expect that same uh, sort of success to continue throughout the, uh, the years? A absolutely. I mean, you, I mean, the 4S launched last Tuesday. 200,000 200, units? Is yeah. the biggest iPhone launch you guys have had ever, correct? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah as far as pre-sale, right? And when you look at what happened, I mean, the same thing happened when we went from 3G to 3GS. We remember that, right? Sure. Everybody said, whoa, wait a second, it's not that big a difference. And, ha and 3GS, arguably, one of the most successful phones ever. Um, this iteration from 4 to 4S, um, we're excited about. And we, even though some of the media and some of the analysts kind of said, ah, it wasn't what I'm we I'm certainly guilty of uh, yeah. falling into that. It wasn't game. what we expected. Look at what we care about is what our customers say. Apple has a, done an incredible job with their ecosystem. And I say that, I mean, from device to content to app store to all the ways that, that the devices work together. I mean, when you think about the iPhone, iPad, and, and whatever else you may have, whether you've got a you know, MacBook or whatever you have, Everything you buy on content works with everything. And that ecosystem is very hard to replicate and beat. And I think that's what's driven that the customers just love the app store. They love iTunes. They love all the content they can get. They love the bookstore. And they've just done such a phenomenal job making it really simple to utilize and get that content that that's what's kept them above. The other follow-up questions that we had, and then we'll, we'll move off from Apple, I sure. promise. Um, all of your other uh, 4G HSPA Plus devices um, in the signal indicator, you either uh, say H plus or 4G. Can we expect something similar with the we, iPhone 4 Yeah, we haven't made any announcements on that yet. We're working with Apple, and that's really all I can say about that right now. Okay. We'll see Friday. How do you guys feel about the, the new media? So leaks are part of the business. Leaks mm -hmm. come out. What, what's what's the, oh, the we, feeling we, on we those? We really like leaks. They're great. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> hey, look, you know, it, it, it makes you change the way you do business, right? Sure. Because reality is, is it wasn't, you know, 10 years ago, it, people weren't looking to be cool by, by taking something out of the shop and putting it on the web. And obviously, it's against our policies and our business. Yeah. We have to change the way we do business. We've had to do things differently. I mean, a great example, and I'll go back to Apple. You know, when we first started to work with Apple, one of the things we had to prove to them is that we can keep things quiet. 
we're big AT and T. By the time we were big singular, right? Mm -hmm. And they're this, and they're very, very, very good, if not the best, at keeping things very quiet. And so I, we've never leaked a thing in almost seven years. It is amazing, though, how fast things spread. And I would say this, and you know, I know I'm on camera. It's amazing how much of it's wrong. I mean, reality. I know my PR folks here that deal with me every day. I mean, most of it's wrong, and that's that's part of the frustration when you know it's wrong. And you just have to deal with it and move on. You but should you should see our iPhone five rumor library. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, bet, I bet you if I got a buck for every time you had a bad rumor, I probably wouldn't. You know, I might not be here. Uh, right. <laughs> but but point being is that's part of the new world, mm -hmm. and, and we have to embrace it. And you know? Being in the, the line of work we are in and the, the department you head up, where do you see connectivity going? Obviously, tablets are a new uh, yeah. market that didn't necessarily exist four or five years. Ago. Actually, cut try a year and a half ago. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You know, most of us don't want to run around carrying around our PCs anymore, so we have a tablet. I'd argue three years from now, you won't have a PC. You'll have a tablet that may be a PC or it may be an iOS or whatever it is, but you're not going to have both. Today, you might have, a, you know, there's 260 million cars on the road, 5% are connected, which I mean embedded module. Yeah. Majority of them are people are expecting to take this, walk in and through Bluetooth or connecting that they're going to tether. Mm -hmm. The future of the automobiles, everyone will be both. Are you seeing it as Kit from Knight Rider? I know that sounds a little outlandish, but I mean, the the whole getting in your car, having your phone, and juggling a hundred things is that's a big. Uh, it's, problem. An, it's an old Simpsons episode. It is. Yeah, it is. The fax machine in the car, and he drives off the bridge. <laughs> I actually see it. I actually, <laughs> yeah, I actually see it as as uh, as how the customer's going to want. It. You know, okay. This is going to hit the car. The car is going to recognize it's there, and you're going to have already told it what you want this to do. Yeah. Um, this may be driving the front seat, the back seat. Remember, the back seat's a different place. You guys are kind of, you know, I got kids. I mean, so yeah. what they wanted in the back seat when they were younger, they're older now, is much different than what I cared about in the front seat. Right. The safety security part of it and diagnostics part of it in the front seat is really more a business related issue, right? If you're Ford and you've got this new electric uh, EV car and you're aux and you want to know how it's performing, that diagnostic chip, you're going to be taking information off that too. So, right? So now you can see what's the service intervals, what's happening, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a whole bunch of models that fall into the vehicle, but there's no question every car will be connected down the road. Innovation in almost any industry equals wireless. You know, tell me any electronics device that wouldn't be better if it's connected. And then you start to think about that. Well, you're going to talk about connected TVs, right? Obviously, you know, internet TVs, great, right? The connected home. You know, what, what's the future of the home? And we believe the future of the home is that it's going to be the center of the hub of your life. I appreciate the time. No Thank problem. you very much. Thanks. That was very interesting.